Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet some more Splatoon 2 news because of course when Nintendo sees that I am gone away, you know, to another country they always have to drop some news or just drop multiple pieces of news for me to not cover it instantly. Thank you Nintendo, I love you guys, but you know, do it when I'm here next time. Anyways, we got some interesting things I've figured that I'd share. Of course, first thing being is the new map that has been confirmed. Uh, known as Humpback Bump Track for Splatoon 2. Basically, this is a BMX track or an indoor BMX track which allows, you know, your squids to go around and, you know, ride the course and all that type of stuff. Uh, you know, I think it's a really interesting concept, you know, of course in Splatoon 1 you had Black Belly Skate Park that would cater around for skateboarders. Now you're in Splatoon 2, you have the one that caters for BMXs. You know, I've been a skateboarder for a really long time, I guess, interesting fact, or fun fact about me. Uh, seven, eight years, I can't actually remember, you know, really long time. But, you know, shout out to my BMXs out there, you know, you guys, you guys kill it out there, you do, do some really cool stuff. But, of course, I would like to mention as well, do not ask me what do I think about how the map is going to be played because I do not know I cannot answer that question until I actually get to play the map but I am just you know letting you guys know that this map is actually a thing and the next piece of news is actually somewhat really really interesting and it is basically how the new gear system works in Splatoon 2 now back in the day you know the origins of Splatoon you know you have Spike who robs you and you know just leaves you very very unhappy because he doesn't give you the types of gear you want he is very very reliant on his rng for some reason really likes me because any i mean I, me and spike go way back we t you know tell each other stories and stuff like that and i tell him he's a wizard and he's just like yo his three subs are quick to spawn thanks spike i like you man but with splatoon 2 how this new gear system works is that you have this miniature looking kid that looks like spike but his name is known as merch and now what he allows you to do is gear scrubbing. So basically, you know, in Splatoon, you know, you get three subs on a piece of clothing. Uh, you level it up. And as we all know, we re-roll it until we can get the specific type of gear that we want for 30 grand. 30 grand, I know, is insane, right? And with this method in Splatoon, you know, it's very, very tedious. Of course, as I said before, you know, it takes however long. It takes a really long time trying to get the three specific subs that you really want on pieces of gear. And, you know, it's a very annoying process. I can't lie. It's very frustrating at times. But in Splatoon 2, what we are now can do is gear scrubbing, where we get three subs on a piece of gear and we can wipe them and get three uh, question marks right after that. But the subs that we had originally are wiped into like a somewhat little bank. So we keep them and basically we're allowed to just keep on leveling up the clothing and all these subs that we wipe will go into a little bank. And what we'll also be allowed to do is however many subs that you have into this bank, let's say you have like eight subs of run speed uh, stored into the bank, you can put a run speed sub into a specific spot. So it makes it easier to actually choose which gear that you want on each clothing. So like, it's going to be a lot easier to get pures and stuff like that, like damage pures and defense pures. So like, if you just stock up a bunch of def damage subs and defense subs, and on whichever piece of gear you want to plant the sub, you can just plant it on easy. Now, of course, you need, like, it's not just one sub that you need to stock. It's going to be multiple subs. So it really just depends on how they really do it. Because I've been thinking, like, would you be able to, you know, level up one piece of gear, get a bunch of subs on one piece of clothing, and then put, like, however many subs on other pieces of clothing? I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. I really do hope, because if it's going to be each clothing at each time, like, each clothing have, like, a specific bank of how many subs you can store, um, it's gonna, it's, that's, that may be very tedious, but, you know, it's a way that you're gonna have to, you know, it's gonna be a new way that you're gonna have to grind the game, but, yeah, that is pretty much the new gear system. I think it's very, very interesting, and I can't wait to start grinding the game out. I mean, it's gonna make people not have to use splat hacks. I mean, probably one person out there will try and find out how splat hacks works and gear editing and stuff like that. But I, I don't really like it, mainly because it's like, you stop grinding the game out, like, you have no, like, 
real reason to go back into solo queue or squads. Like, back in the day when Splat Hacks wasn't really a thing, squads used to be so popular because people would do it just to get some gear, they'll get it to build money, and they'll get it to, you know, trying to re-roll and stuff like that. They'll be on some sort of grind. When Splat Hacks happened, it was pretty much missing. Like, I really miss that people don't actually squad as much in Splatoon. Uh, but now, the Splatoon 2 gear method, I really do like it. I mean, you know, it's going to encourage people to actually grind the game out a lot more. It's going to be less tedious for people actually getting into competitive because I guess another thing is because it was so tedious to get specific gear and get really, really good gear because it would take 100 million years to actually get it. So I guess a lot of people tried and then they just got tired of it and just said, you know what, I am not going to get into competitive because I can't get this type of gear. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say, you know, the ESL go for Splatoon Finals or the Grand Finals, we came second, just letting you guys know, I will have a little vlog uh, very soon of that, and um, it's not going to be the longest vlog, it's not going to be like, don't play our grass level or squid storm level, it's going to be a little vlog, probably less than 10 minutes. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to share with you guys today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.